It's stall. Hasn't done that before. Let's see if it'll restart. Yeah, I've got some kind of weird fuel supply problem. I don't know if my pump can't keep up. Strange. The problem the truck's had since, since I've got it driving again on the road is uh, if I hold steady throttle, you know, at highway speeds or even on a side street, it's fine. Throttle, throttle response is good. Uh, engine runs great. The only time I notice uh, a, a fuel problem is when I lay into the throttle real hard let off of it and then immediately try to tip back into throttle when I tip in it's just flat like it's got no fuel you know it doesn't matter throttle position I can go partially open and just I just feel it's flat nothing's happening when I'm hitting the throttle I can go full throttle like that nothing happens it's just blah 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 right if I blip it if I let off and hit it real quick and, and, and then get into it then I have full pedal again it's like I'm, I'm run, temporarily running out of fuel. But the, the weird thing is that it happens at all speeds. Like if I make a full throttle run, you know, I've got full fuel all the way to the end until I let up. If I let up all the way and then try to tip in, I've got nothing. But if I stay in it, I don't have fuel problems. It doesn't run out of fuel. So it's strange. I'm not sure if it's an injection pump problem. And it's sticking and not not allowing fuel uh, to come back into the pump, or uh, or what it is. I don't think that my electric fuel pump is running out of fuel. I don't think it's having a problem keeping up. Uh, I've never seen the uh, the filter. It's got a clear bowl on it. I've never seen the bowl empty. I've never seen any air bubbles in the bowl doesn't mean that it's not running out and I'm just not seeing the problem but uh, maybe that's why I need to do maybe I need to stick my magnetic camera mount under the frame rail pointing at the fuel filter fuel bowl and run it real hard and see if I can get an air bubble in there I don't think that's the problem I think it's the injection pump because it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a full throttle launch, it doesn't have to be like wide open on the freeway, it can be just a half throttle, you know, even if I'm just cruising it at half throttle, if I let up and then immediately tip back in, I've got nothing. I have to blip it to get throttle again, and uh, it's the strangest thing. So when you come up to a red light or something, and you let off the throttle all the way and let it down to idle, and then try to get back into it, it's dead, it's flat. Um, and it's frustrating because certain situations like stopping for a left-hand turn on a green light and you've got cross traffic that's coming and then you hit, go to tip back into the throttle and it's flat. Uh, it's it's uh, concerning. So then I have to immediately just blip the throttle and if I, if I let off and blip it again real quick, then I have throttle and everything's fine. But, uh, but yeah, it's like a... It's like a, it feels like there's a shuttle valve that's letting fuel in and then the valve sticks and I have to uh, blip it and free up the valve in order to get more fuel to flow. That's what it feels like to me. I don't know exactly how these injection pumps work. I don't know if that's, if there's a valve, I'm assuming there's a valve in there uh, that's allowing the fuel in on the pressure line. But I don't want to replace a $300 injection pump if that's not going to solve the problem. You know, the, the electric fuel pump was $100. If the electric fuel pump is the problem, then I could just upgrade to a better, uh, a higher flow fuel pump. <clears throat> problem is, I'm just not sure exactly what it is. I can reproduce it every time. 
I could go to the top of the street here just idling and get it to do that. Immediately let off and then immediately tip back into the throttle and it'll be flat. There will be nothing. So it doesn't have to do with how much fuel I'm using. So that's why I don't think it's, it's fuel flow from the electric fuel pump. I think there's per plenty of fuel flow. I think it's an injection pump issue is what it is. It's just weird that it's so consistent. You know, if it was sticking, if it was a sticking valve, you would think it would happen sometimes and not others. Uh, but this happens every time. It's completely reproducible. And I don't know what it is. I've done some Googling, done some homework on it, and I just can't seem to find that symptom, that exact uh, scenario in the threads that I've read. But maybe I haven't searched with the right terminology. At least the engine's coming up on temperature. I like the way it's running. It's running smooth, it's running powerful. If I could solve this, uh, this throttle problem, this running out of fuel problem. Oh, the other thing is it's not the, uh, it's not the throttle lever sticking. I, I, it's not like I'm stuck at closed throttle. I feel, I have full pedal like I always do when this happens. It's, it's, everything feels normal as far as pedal. The motor is running normally. It doesn't die. It just comes down to an idle, and it won't come off idle. It's like uh, you hit the throttle, and it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's just no, there's nothing there. It doesn't accelerate. It doesn't pull. It doesn't take off. Uh, it doesn't rev. It just, whoa, whoa. Totally flat throttle. Weirdest thing. Okay, guys, so I got the, uh, the camera strapped down underneath uh, on the fuel pump. So I wiped off the bowl so we could make sure we could see clearly there. And we'll see if we got a fuel pickup problem. I, I don't think so. Both tanks, when I had them out of the truck, I, uh, I took off the umbrella hat, or the shower head they call it, whatever, uh, that has the filtered screen on the pickup. Took that off and uh, just made a pickup tube that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank. That solves the quarter, quarter fuel tank uh, lack of fuel problem that these trucks have. So those are both eliminated on both tanks. <clears throat> uh, I know I have a little bit of a pickup problem on my front tank because I didn't uh, I didn't swap out the uh, the fuel level sensor assembly for the F-150 assembly. I just used the, the uh, pickup that came out of my big tank when I put the small tank in there after I did the short bed conversion. And uh, I know that my lines there, one of my lines is at a bad angle and I've got a fuel leak. So I know I've got pickup problems on my front tank. It runs fine. I Actually, I think it's the return line that's leaking a little bit because uh, I see a wet spot on the fuel rail. So I'm assuming that's what it is. I, I don't really know yet for sure. Um, I haven't had time to drop that tank and readdress that pickup. I think if I bend them a little more at a different angle or just replace it with an F-150 fuel pickup assembly, level sensor assembly, uh, that'll probably solve the problem. But I'm running currently off my rear tank, which has no issues uh, and doesn't have any fuel pickup problems. Starts right up, sounds great. Oh man. I love the way this thing's running after turning up the fuel, other than that cold start. But that might be addressed uh, a different way. So we're going to drive it. I'm going to see if I can replicate the problem. And maybe you guys can help me diagnose it. Obviously, it's a, it's a fuel problem. You know, with these simple, uh, simple IDI motors, there's... There's not too much that can go wrong. It either, it either runs or it doesn't run. So I know that it's, it's related to fuel. I just don't know exactly what component I'm looking at that's the problem. So right now I've got great throttle response. Feels awesome. And I've got good fueling. I can feel from the pedal that the fuel is there. So 
So I'm gonna just drive and walk away here to our super secret testing area in Mexico. Do a hard run with it. Right now it's running great. It's just not stopping great. There's a huge dust cloud at the end of the street. Alright, so no traffic. Good fueling. Now if I let off and hit it again, nothing. If I let off and hit it again, now I got fuel again. It's so weird. got to the end of the street here too quick. So, this time, when it goes flat, I'm going to just hold that throttle position. Right now I got fuel, let off, nothing. That's full throttle right there. Nothing is happening at all. I'm rolling at the same speed. I've got nothing. I've got my foot to the floor right now. Nothing's happening at all. Now if I let off and hit it again, I've got fuel. Man, that's weird. Happens every time. I was rolling 20 miles an hour right there and I had my foot to the floor. I'm hoping that the, uh, that the camera I stuck on the fuel pump there captured something. I, I don't expect to see any problems with fuel at the fuel pump. I don't think that's where the problem is. Ah, it runs so good other than that. It doesn't stop for crap, but it runs, uh, it runs really good. So now I'll start it up, see if it starts back up. First click. Starts up, idles rock solid, smooth, quiet. Ah! So frustrating. All my gauges are normal. Oil pressure good. Bolts is good. Tax rock solid. Engine temp's good. It's a mystery to me. I'm hoping you guys can help me solve the problem. I'm going to try and highlight the video that I got here with my magnet mount under the under the body and uh, take a look and see if you guys have any comments you know do you do you know what's causing this fuel problem do you have anything I can check you know I've checked uh, I've checked the pump I think the pump is good the uh, the under under bed cam there was capturing uh, the, the the bowl in the fuel pump and I don't expect to see any problems there I don't think I'm going to see any fuel starvation going on uh, from the fuel pump. The fuel pump runs directly to the front. It's connected directly into the filter housing. Uh, so there's really nothing in between the fuel pump and the motor that uh, that would be causing a starvation problem. Um, the filter itself is new. Uh, I replaced it when I got the motor running so it has maybe I don't know a couple thousand miles on it. Other than the fact that I turned it up a little bit, um, I haven't uh, I haven't played with the injection pump at all. So I'm assuming that's where the problem is. The, the problem's been there since I got the truck running and driving. So it's not anything new. It's not related to me turning up the fuel screw at all. Uh, and it's it's really not a problem now that I've learned how to drive around that and I know what to do when it goes flat. You know, uh, when I run out of fuel. So it's a mystery to me, you guys. Uh, you know, all, all you 7.3 IDI guys that know what you're talking about, please leave some comments. Let me know what to check next. I'll uh, I'll check whatever whatever you need me to check. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's injectors. Uh, like I said, they you know if it was a couple injectors, I would have some throttle response. There's nothing. When it went flat there, I had no throttle response at all. Nothing happens when you when you hit the accelerator pedal. There's no response at all doesn't increase in RPMs, doesn't do anything. It's like there's a disconnect between the throttle and the injection pump, but there's not. I, I have full pedal, I can feel it moving. Uh, 
you know, I can move it up and down a little bit, but if I release it all the way and then hit it again, then I have throttle. Anyway, uh, please click like and subscribe, guys, if you like this kind of content. And if you want to help me diagnose this 7.3, please leave me comments and let me know what to check next. Uh, I appreciate all the help I can get. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.